Hello, I'm Jesse Grimes, and I'm here at Wheaton Labs in Western Montana. I'm about to give you a video walkthrough of Wafati 0.8. This is the second Wafati that was built here at Wheaton Labs. It was built last summer. Uh, it's still a work in progress, not yet completed. Um, 0.8, the number kind of comes from Paul's software engineering background. Um, it's not version 1.0 yet. It's still a work in progress. We're still experimenting, but we're having a lot of fun doing that. So let me give you a walkthrough tour here. Um, Let's walk down this path. We're coming to the uphill patio. Um, as you can, so one thing you notice about this uphill patio is that everything, the earth has been shaped so that everything drains away from the, the walls of the Wafati and then down out this ditch and around. And that not only drains water away from the building but also cold air in the wintertime. Um, as you can see here, this is a used billboard material, a recycled billboard. And this is what is being used as a water barrier. So you can see it's, it's placed over the logs of a house and then dirt is placed up against that. And like I said, this house is unfinished. So it only has its first layer of dirt on here. This, the layer of dirt that is on right now, this is going to be the thermal mass of the building. It'll be covered again in an insulation and watershed umbrella to keep that mass dry. And then that'll all be covered in about two feet of dirt to regulate, moderate the temperature between the outside air and the mass and the insulation. So you said this is the uphill patio of the, of the building, the larger face. And there are plans to renovate this much in the same way that we were renovating Wafati 0.7. Um, this fascia will probably be covered in cob. Um, as you can see up here, these tarps are visible now. There will be a drip edge installed up there. And eventually you won't be able to see any of the tarps in any part of this building. You'll just you'll see wood or dirt or not see the building at all. And here we are walking around the north side of the building, back to the downhill patio. As you can see, this all this dirt was put on here last summer. Um, a little bit of mulch was put down in the form of boughs and sticks. And none of this was seeded. It all just kind of came up. And there's, you know... Lots and lots of life growing up on this building already. So eventually when it's all finished, the soil is put on top. This, all this growth will help uh, hide the building and give it that nice natural aesthetic. And here we are on the downhill portion of the building. You see, much like the uphill, um, this house is shaped more in a straight rectangle pattern. A little bit skinnier in the back here. But we have this gable roof. There's a normal shed roof in the top, or in the uphill patio, and that kind of blends into this gable roof. And what that does is ensures that all the water falling on the roof has a path to drain down the side instead of off the back, as in a normal shed roof. Because when you're earth sheltering a house, you don't want to have anywhere where water will drip off an edge, because that will bring the earth with it. And of course, this downhill wall is unfinished, and there are plans to finish it much in the same way we're doing at Wafati 0.7. And here we are at the uphill patio of the Wafati 0.8. And uh, something we like to do when we're giving tours of this place is right in front of this wall here, especially in the afternoon, it tends to reflect a lot of heat. Um, it might be 100 degrees out here, 90 degrees out here. It allows people to notice how hot it is right here. And then as we walk into the building, it cools off dramatically. It's usually about 20 degrees cooler inside the building. And that's without any of the insulation or anything. That's just the effect of the mass all around this. So this is the main room of 0.8. Um, the same family of five was living in here before and there were different uh, walls put up to kind of separate into rooms. But we took a lot of those walls out to let more light into the building. So it's, it's quite a spacious area lots of light feels really good um, we've got a kitchen set up in here this is all milled here and joined together and, and planed and cleaned up this here is a just a normal rocket mass heater just a basic uh, cob bench simple design uh, works really well again this heater is only installed in here because the building is unfinished none of the uh, annualized thermal inertial stuff has been has been completed, so it needed a heater to get through the winter time. And this cob bench 
This one rocket mask here, he did this whole building quite nicely. So our couple people living here right now are interim land manager and a gapper. Um, so you walk back here, this is the main bedroom. Um, and like I said, there's going to be work done on this back wall. We're probably going to put more windows in, let more light into this area. One nice little feature of this house is this wide tree that was integrated into the, the framing. It looks quite nice. So as we walk back out, turn the corner here. Uh, these are a lot of those interior walls that were taken out. We're just saving the round pole here. This is kind of another bedroom and a larder for the kitchen. And then over here, at the end of the rocket mosquito bench, this is kind of a utility room that was installed um, to hold the batteries for the solar system and uh, store any tools and stuff like that. So there you have it, Wafati 0.8. And so this is the second Wafati we built here at Wheaton Labs. Um, and the whole concept of the Wafati is that it's an annualized thermal inertia building so that the heat from the summertime can be let in through these windows and will be conducted through the walls into the mass behind this behind the walls here, and that will last through the winter time, heating the house without the use of a heater. And then in the summertime, that mass will be cold after the winter, and will draw heat back out of the room into the mass, cooling off the house without the need for an air conditioner or any other kind of cooler. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of Wadi 0.8 here at Wheaton Labs in Montana.